Now, chapter two. And this is part two. The Dam Online Method. With the fundamentals of our foundation, which is explained in chapter one, we can now shift our focus to tools and methods. The technique outlined in this chapter called the Dam Outline online method is so easy and to, to do, yet so powerful, that it's truly phenomenal. Allow me to illustrate with the following vignette. It's Valentine's Day, early morning. Sam Mann awakes abruptly to his cell phone ringing at his bedside. Normally, he'll ignore such an early call, but his cell rings incessantly, knowing that people really blow up his phone with good news especially before dawn, Sam braces himself for an, emer for an emergency and answers the call. What happens next, however, is something he could have never imagined. Hello, this is Sam. Hi, Sam, it's Sarah. Sam is a seasoned business consultant and Sa Sarah's company is his biggest client. Hi, hi, Sarah, what can I do for you? With a gasp, Sarah exclaims, you haven't seen what's on the internet about you. Sam has no idea what she's talking about. Sarah explains that her company received an anonymous email via her, their website's contact us page, accusing Sam Mann of being a woman beater, alcoholic, drug addicted alcoholic, and a the R word, among other things. The email also instructed the company to Google Sam Mann's MBA to see it's true. Blindsided and still on the call with Sarah, Sam reaches for his laptop, a Google Sam Mann MBA business consultant. He is shocked by what he sees. His LinkedIn profile is promoting his business credentials and accomplishments no longer appears at the top of Google search results. Instead, there is a post on a website called Cheetah Report with the headline, Sam Mann MBA is a woman beater. Alcoholic business consultant. Immediately below that search result is another listing on a website called Report My Ex with the headline, Business Consultant Sam Mann MBA is a psycho R word pedophile, followed by a similar post on rip off report and it goes on and on. In total, the allegations span the first four, the first four pages of Google search results for Sam's name. Any positive information about him, including endorsement from clients was now buried further back in Google than any one would typically look. Sam defends himself. Sarah, this is literally unbelievable. I have no idea why this is happening. You've been working with me for over 10 years. You know none of this is true. I'm sorry, Sam. Doesn't matter if it's not true. It's all over the internet. It looks bad for a company to be associated with you. And our lawyers say it makes us vulnerable. We have to cut ties with you. And with that, Sam suddenly loses his biggest client, a relationship that took a decade to build and was continuing to grow hundreds and thousands of dollars in annual revenue, gone. Literally the day before business was going wonderfully, literally the day before the business was going wonderfully, Sam hangs up, hangs up, bewildered and in belief, disbelief. As soon as he puts his phone down, it begins ringing again. This time, the caller's name appears on the caller ID. It's Sam's second biggest client. You've probably been thinking at this point, wow, yeah, that's powerful. And it will be awful, awesome to destroy a man by ruining his reputation across the internet. But I don't have the resources to do that. Yet, you do. That's the beauty and the genius of this method. With as little as internet connection and minutes of your time, you can destroy a man worldwide overnight. Certain types of media, such as a complaint websites and Google search engines are key to enabling the damn online method. Nonetheless, 
to maximize results, it's important to tailor all three fundamentals, beginning with allegations. So she goes on to talk about how to craft allegations, okay, using the online method. I'm not going to go through it. So crafting allegations, she gives you step by step and how it shows up, how it shows up in on Google, Google search, what are the words to use, and so on and so on. Next, in order to attract the proper attention, the post title and the content you craft need to include scandalous allegations about the man victimizing others by violating legal or ethical standards. Anything shocking can work, but crimes of a sexual and violent nature against women and or children seem to work best. All right, so she goes on to list those. And on and on. Moreover, the damn online method relies on multiple allegation postings across the internet to get the intention of search engines and work most effectively. And she gives you examples uh, or give women examples of how to craft these allegations to destroy a man's life. Leveraging media. And she goes on to how now you can leverage the media, how you can go to all of these websites here and post this, this allegation across these websites to really get them to be start listing and trending on, on media and on social media. Okay, so I'm not going to read the whole thing. It says, once you've posted the allegations on complaints, Websites, social media can be leveraged to draw even more public attention. This is easy as posting, liking, or retweeting, or sharing links to the allegation you've published on complaint sites or complaint websites. Leveraging authority. Even with your allegations published across the net, internet and ranking at the top of search engine result pages, it's sometimes necessary to drop them into author's authority's lap, so to speak, to get him to take action. Social media like LinkedIn and Facebook are particularly useful in this regard. Then with the information in hand, you can message the allegations to the most important people and authorities in his network via social media applications, example, Facebook Messenger, anonymous emails, or the contact us page of employers' websites. Even more in our favor, author authority makes it nearly impossible for a man to have any recourse, recourse against the damn online method. Moreover, if you maintain your anonymity, whom can authorities take action against? It can be impossible to prove who made the allegations on the internet. Besides, as taking legal action is ridiculously expensive and winning defamation cases is notoriously hard. In other words, there isn't much most men can do to recover from the damn online method. There you have it. That was chapter 